you know, starting this YouTube channel, I never thought it would get this far. I never thought that I'd be here right now. And it's crazy to think of it this way, but I don't think I'd be the same person I am today if it wasn't for this gift that God has given me of going for my dream of becoming someone that I can say that I'm proud to be. Someone who can inspire others to create their own content, their own stories, their own adventures. I mean, it's just a big statement knowing you have over 40,000 people seeing you all over the world. I mean, it's crazy. And to be doing this ever since you were 13 and now going on to 16, I mean, it's crazy how many things have happened since then. I am so thankful for everyone who's always been with me through thick and thin. There's been so many adventures, good and bad even, throughout these three years that I've been doing this now. It's crazy, but... YouTube, thanks for showing me what it's like to be a celebrity, I guess, because according to, well, what I've seen on Google, based off of what I've researched, to be counted as a celebrity, you should have at least 30,000 followers or subscribers or what have you, and I've reached 40,000, 41,000 at the time I'm recording this. <laughs> It's just crazy to take in the fact that as a 13 year old, I was playing with these, with these cars, making little videos as a joke, not thinking it would get me far. I was just doing it to show you guys what my mind thinks and how my mind, my mind operates and all that stuff. But flash forward to three years later and <sighs> this is an icon now. This is. One of the best things that has ever happened to me, and I am eternally grateful for all of you guys out there who have done everything to get me to where I am today. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So, you guys want it? Then you guys will get it. You guys want a room tour? Let's go for it. Um, when I was supposed to snap my fingers, I should have. Come on. I got an idea. Maybe it's just because I needed my right hand for this, but. I mean. Where can I start? There's just so many things. I mean, here I have my descendant section, and then here I have all these dolls in the packaging.
Cruz and one Jada Cruz and one Jada Storm. Then we have Tech Touch McQueen and then these other old McQueens by Mattel. And this popcorn holder of McQueen from Disney Parks. And then we have a poster of The Incredibles, two of them actually. And a Descendants one over there and my Toy Story Christmas Customs, then three. Or the Oscars Jesse isn't really Christmas, but like, eh, it still counts. And then we have the Ultimate Walking Buzz. Then we have the um, Chogoken McQueen in both colors. And then we have this giant Disney Store exclusive limited edition type of... Yeah, that thing. And then here we have a Frozen 2 section. We have a few dolls and Olaf plush and some Uno cards. Then down here we have some miscellaneous items. Here's the original prop from the Racing Like a Fireball 2 slash Racing Like a Drag Racer movie. Down here we have an Incredibles 2 section with these dolls from Disney Store. And then down here we have my NBA basketball, my Lightning McQueen piggy bank, and my Jackson Storm uh, remote control car from the video where he raced Tech Touch Lightning McQueen. Moving along down here we got the Pixar Ball plush from Disney Store, RC from the Mattel 7 inch basic line figures. Uh, Funko Pop, RC, and Woody. Woody's roundup section down here with two Woody's in large scale and one smaller scale. And then we've got three Jessies in the bullseye. Then we move on to Toy Story 1 slash Andy's Toys. And then we move on to Toy Story 4. And then at the very top, we've got all these Buzz Lightyears and their certificates of authenticity. Over here, we have another little type of miscellaneous area with no uh, real dedicated. Um, Franchise. We've got Cruiser Mirrors with Alexa. There she is. She's gonna turn on. There she is. And then we've got the Incredibles 2 CD. Incredibles 2. Um, another doll set there. Some other diecasts that are just different display. And then moving along here, we've got our Disney Store diecast section. We've got Maters, McQueens, and Cruises. And then down here we have Ramones, World Grand Prix racers, Piston Cup racers. And then down here we have Legends, tractors, tuners, race cars, fans, all types of things. And in this wall right here, we have a bunch of Cars Land type of, or Route 66 styled um, display here with metal signs. Race to win, Radiator Springs, welcome to Gateway Ornament Valley. Welcome to, oh, greetings from Radiator Springs, I should say, Gateway to Ornament Valley. And then we have this custom canvas made by me at school. This was a school project. We put a Disneyland Radiator Springs racers pin at the corner there. And then this is from a diecast packaging, glued it on there with super glue, and then custom made this decal here that says I am speed. We've got some custom signed posters. If you lift up my cars card in here, we've got the first poster made by this creeper MC and then by Disney Next Gen. Um, I forgot the username, but um, you guys know he was my graphic designer for the Racing Like a Drag Racer posters. So I have two posters signed from my movies. And then moving along up here, we got this little McQueen um, name card display, but of course there's no name in there. And then we have this picture of me, and it has my signature. Uh, my friend took that picture. And then down here, we got the map of Radiator Springs. And then down here, we got a Paso colored um, Jesse portrait. And then the certificate of authenticity from the um, Chogokin McQueens from that video. And then this. Um, McQueen and Mater watercolor project, as well as this RS watercolor project for the mountains of Ornament Valley. Then we've got my bed right here, beneath this giant arc right here. We've got McQueen and Cruz, plushes from Disneyland slash Disney Store. We've got my printer, we got a trash can, we got shoes. We've got the Woody's Roundup TVs. And we've got the OG paper or canvas paper, whatever you want to call it, where I would record some of my videos and live streams. I can just move the TVs uh, and just record there. Then we've got some books down here or some folders and files um, of paperwork and stuff I have. Because of then, of course, I got my backpack right there for school. And then we've got some larger plastic haulers, including um, this one right here from uh, Danico Cruz Ramirez, some Max, um, another Danico Cruz Ramirez hauler, Mini Racers Mac hauler. And then we've got, of course, the Descendant Sauls again. Some in package and some out of package. Then we've got right here my caps and this bag right here that carries my tripods. All in all, things from the charging cars from Cars 2 from Target back in the days. Uh, Jada Mater, uh, Piston Cup Productions old logo. This was my logo in 2017 slash 2018, I believe. 
And then I got this in 2018, I believe, or 2019 for my birthday, this Piston Cup thing, um, ribbon, award ribbon. And then we've got some packaged pins from Disney Parks, NBA, the Spurs, and Golden State Warriors, a Pixar one, a uh, Christmas one from last year, 2019, a 2019 key. 2019 Frozen Key as well, and the 2019 Toy Story 4 Key. And then we've got this um, cork board right here with Disneyland slash Disney Parks slash Disney World pins, or Disney Store pins. Moving along down here, we've got some San Diego Comic Con slash D23 exclusives, including the Precision Series, the singles that come in the set. And then we've got one of those Macs from down there. It's that one to be specific, the one between um, Cruise and the Mini Mac. In package right here. If you look this up, oh, actually I sealed it. Never mind. I sealed the bottom with tape or something. Um, then we've got these little cards from the diecast from 2018 that used to come with a collector card. I take those on the edge of these little shelves or little, well, yeah, little shelves. Then we've got Dynacle cups right here. The RS Team Light uh, 95 Lightning McQueen, and then that's a Cars 3 pop socket from an old phone case I had. And then I have my Apple Watch wristband, some. Um, chapsticks, bracelets, my bad, and then a Piston Cup Productions logo, and then other stuff of mine, colognes and all that stuff, um, Piston Cups, uh, the Cars 2 Piston Cup Gold Lightning McQueen, the Cars Land Piston Cup Sippy Cup, um, certificates of authenticity for these posters that are signed by Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, um, I forgot the name of the actor for Bo Peep, um, and then Yes, see right here it says Car Street Multi Signed Poster and it says signatures include Owen Wilson, Crystal Alonzo, Nathan, John, Jennifer, and Andra. I do know Owen, of course, is McQueen, Cristela is Cruz, Nathan, I believe, is Sterling, John, of course, is Mac, Jennifer, I I think it's either Nat no, I don't think it's Nat Natalie starting. Could be um Flo? Andra Day, I think she's the one who sang the song from um Glory Days. Um, there's no certificate for the one signed by Owen Wilson for Cars 1, but there is this little sticker there. And then, moving along, jumping on top of my bed here. Oh, yeah. Right under my TV, we've got, of course, an Apple TV. A clock with a crystal Disney Infinity figure of Lightning McQueen. The Precision Series singles in your acrylic cases. And the singles of Ramon and Doc right there. And then, moving along up here. Some text up here we've got Hot Wheels from Toy Story and Avengers and this poster of course also signed by the Avengers cast and then this Spider-Man Far From Home poster and this sticker my friend gave me for Christmas last year of the Avengers so those are on shelves as well and then we've got this thing right here so whenever I wake up I'll know what to do or what videos are due so 40k sub special room tour and that's what we're doing today and then I got this lightning bolt that's still in the progress of pictures with my friends. So it's half done. We've got that portion right there, that and that. We just need about three more pictures. We got more pictures that are going to be going around this column right here from my Instax mini film camera. Another Cars Land Cup, Disney Infinity figures, another piggy uh, uh, coin bank type of thing that my friend gave me as well last year. Uh, Mater from Disney Infinity. And if we pull down on the string, We've got my Cars curtain, Blazing Speed. My aunt gave me this a few years back. And then my first ever Jesse doll from when I was a kid. Um, Toy Story Kleenex, my base to charge my AirPods, Apple Watch, and iPhone. Just let it rest there, light turns on, and blah, 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 whatever. Um, What else? Oh, yeah, the closet. So, of course, in the closet, we've got clothing. And then, most importantly, though, We've got our Precision Series sets, Lizzie's, Luigi's, Ramon's, Flo's, Sarge's, Fillmore's, Mater's, the Florida 500 thing from my intros, uh, Cars 3 Shoes, um, Receipts, Instax Film, uh, the Cozy Cones are down there, uh, my Captain America backpack, also sometimes used for school, some plushies I've got at Toys R Us before they close down, another plushie from Disneyland, Another backpack, this whole crate is more, more backpacks and plushies and all that stuff. Um, and then in these bins, we've got um, more clothing of mine, but yeah. But what do you guys think? I do recall, if 
if I'm not mistaken, you guys didn't know what my room looked like before um, all of this changed happened. Because of course, bunk beds used to be in here and um, well of course I showed a, a few pictures of the transformation before um, I'm making this video. But um, yeah, what do you guys think of my room? Yeah, so I mean, it's kind of difficult getting just one shot of my room because there's a lot of things up high and there's some things down low. But yeah, here's another quick 360 with me in the shot, of course, to show that it's legit and I'm not in someone else's house. I'm breaking in and recording this room tour. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this room tour. Um, you guys waited a long time for this, but hopefully it was worth the wait. Um, but yeah, um, quick recap we have a toy story shelf three car shelves actually four including the disney store cars one um we've got a descendant section we've got a disneyland slash d23 type of section or hollywood section i would like to call it because of the autographed posters and all that stuff and then we've got my school and paperwork type of section down here with haulers and then of course we have my closet with my clothing my outfits because i am into fashion and i do like to model a lot of clothing um, and then of course we have my bed section over here with pictures with my friends uh, the Hot Wheels section up there or Marvel section I would also like to call it a little precision series section down there, but yeah, that's pretty much it Oh, and one last thing before I sign off so Soon when I said I have a lot of amazing content coming soon. Here's an announcement There's going to be a brand new Toy Story series on my channel involving my friends voicing some of these characters and we're gonna make our own type of series we still don't know the official name for the series but we've been planning this for about two or three months now but um basically we're going to be controlling the characters like this with our hands and they're going to be doing little voiceovers like this like hey my name's jesse what's up y'all ah! so <laughs> stuff like that we're just going to make a brand new series um so far the name we have is toy story reality check and it's going to be kind of a the toys all live in one home and they're all like adults type of thing so it's like Jesse's gonna be like a mom figure in a sense and then Woody's gonna be like of course the brother figure Buzz is the boyfriend. There's gonna be the Buzz with the utility belt So he's gonna be like a future Buzz Lightyear or the future Buzz I should say um, Bullseye <laughs> Is not gonna be a horse in this series. We decided that he's gonna be a dog and he's gonna be called Fido Lice <laughs> um, And then we have who's gonna be in the series. Oh, yeah, we got Fresa Forky Fresa Forky, yeah, stupid names, but it's gonna be fun. I mean, we're gonna make a bunch of new memories and stuff. Um, oh, her hat's tipping over. We're gonna be just talking like this and just making a bunch of crazy stuff around the house. Check out my new mixtape. So, oh wait, I think I, in my last vlog, I put a little snippet of this character talking at school. Um, one of my friends is going to be voicing Jesse. And um, so yeah, um, I, I'm not doing Jesse because I, I can't control Jesse, but I can do a little bit of Woody and Buzz. I don't know. We're still trying to organize the cast, but basically there's going to be a lot of Spanish as well in the series. So, oye, te dije que te lavaras los trastes. Andale, si quieres salir a la calle, tienes que lavar los trastes primero. So that's the type of stuff we're going to do. It's going to be really, really fun. If you guys have any suggestions for the series, um, I don't know if I'm going to make a separate video explaining each cast member and what their character is about i probably will but just in advance this is an, an fyi that there's a series in the progress with toy story coming hopefully soon and there's it's going to be type of a hispanic mexican type of home that they all live in a, in a home together and there's going to be a lot of not arguing but adventures adventures i should say actually i almost forgot this isn't mine this is my brother's actually. And this goes in his room because we used to share a room, but now he has his own room at the very back of the house. Let's do a quick little, little overview of his room. So he's got the Star Wars and Funko Pop section and Tsum Tsums. But if you're wondering what happened to the bunk bits that were in my room, well, there they are. They're here now in his new room. So this is a little 360 of his room, and his is more of a pop culture type of room. See how he's got, um, or sci-fi as well, because he's got Star Wars. Well, he's got a piston cup. That should be mine. Um, then he's got this. You know, all of this stuff is mine.
this is his actually i don't own that so this is all his stuff on um, the die cast are his so i gave him some of my extra die casts and variations so he's got his little display of cars here and hot wheels as well he's got his own tissue box of buzz lightyear he's got his star wars um lightsabers um yeah we went over that section already i really like what he did here with this little display of jackson and mcqueen and he put his apple watch on there um suitcase because we're traveling to mexico soon infinity war poster nintendo switch tv star wars um see because this, this is where the pop culture type of thing comes in he's got this little display here of movie posters and comics types of things or vintage see that and this is original so he has it there and then this as well he got this one back when it came out um in endgame uh incredibles 2 type of thing um, Amiibos, top bunk, they used to be mine, or no, actually, bottom bunk was mine, or I would sleep, eh, I would just sleep wherever, but, um, yeah, if you guys were wondering what happened to the bunk beds, there they are, and should I do a house tour? I don't know, but for now, you guys wanted a room tour, so I gave you guys a room tour, and if you stay till the end, well, you got to see my brother's room as well. But anyways, Pissing Go Productions now signing out. See you all next time.